Nigeria, I give up. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in another verse of the Quran in chapter 22, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in every Muslim household that is able to afford it, they are believers in Islam. What are the wisdom of this evil Kabir? What is the significance of it? Why is it so important? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us for salli wa bika wanya that is therefore turn your prayer to your Lord and sacrifice part of this is that attaining closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secondly the revival of the sunnah of prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam 
Allah sends inspiration to the prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ismail. Later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ransomed him with a ram, which is slaughtered instead of his son Ismail. Allah says, For they know who be in our deen, meaning, and we ransom him with a great sacrifice. Thirdly, showing generosity to the dependents on the day of Eid al Adha and spreading mercy among the poor, the needy, and the less privileged. Fourthly, giving gratitude to Allah for subjecting the livestock animal to us, fellow Muslims in Islam. The significance of Eid al Adha or Eid al Kabir is about sacrifice and lending services to God and the entire humanity in general. Akuli Kali Haza. Wasikulali walaku wa isai musimina wa musimat. Because last year we were here praying that we want Nigerians to choose him as the president. And we said then, not because we know him, but because we believe he has what it takes. And it is Almighty Allah that grants people knowledge. So we thank Almighty Allah for allowing him to be chosen as our president at this time. Every nation needs good leadership at the right time. So we thank Allah for granting us that prayer. I we want to pray that Almighty Allah will continue to give you the wherewithal, the strength, the wisdom to carry this nation abound. I have a Senegalese friend, and he said, I don't know if I agree with him, his father is Senegalese, his mother is a Nigerian. He said, my brother, it seems Nigerians are one of the least patriotic people in the world. I said, why did you say that? He said, prices of things in Senegal, that he, because he's married to a Nigerian and a Ghanaian, and a, a, a Senegalese. He said, prices of things in Kaduna is about three times, but in Senegal it's 15 times. But you people complain too much. I said, well, let's just pray for us. So because of that, we pray that the spirit of patriotism will reside in all of us. So that we, in our own space, we will do the right thing for this country. Because it is not only the leaders, it is all of us. But we pray that our leaders, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, and all our leaders here, on behalf of the people of Lagos State and the governor of Lagos State, we pray that God will grant you the, the fortitude to actually carry the weight of this country. Because it's a very heavy weight. It's a very heavy weight. May Almighty Allah make it easy for you. And at the end of the day, may you hand well. Amen. At the end of the day, may you hand well. Amen. And at the end of the day, we pray that as you are gathering everything, doing whatever it takes for this country, God will strengthen your family. Amen. God will strengthen you and everybody that is around you and everything that you love. May Almighty Allah be with you. And for all of us, the Muslim Ummah, we pray that we witness many more and that we embody the spirit of sacrifice as, as enthroned by Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Ismail We've all seen the essence of sacrifice. So we must sacrifice for our nation. We know people have said it's not just the citizens, the leadership, but our leaders are also satisfied. So we must pray for them. As our Imam have said, praying and loving our country is part of our faith. Because if there is no peace in Nigeria, we can't pray. So for us to pray, there must be peace in this land. And therefore, we pray that God will continue to grant us peace. Our NSA, we pray that God will help you. As all these things that you are, you are discussing yesterday, Allah will make it easy for you. Allah for everybody. Our chief of staff, we thank you. It's a difficult job. I know that you are showing me your phone yesterday, one million test of Allah will help you. I'm stretching you to make sure you can do this thing. Uh, former governor, Babaji Rasfashola, today is your birthday. May Allah make it easy for you. And may Allah grant you many more lives. Many more lives. And all our brothers, everybody, Baba Adini, Baba is over 100. So all of you look at him. For everybody here, may Allah grant you more long life. May Allah, at the end of the day, may Allah give you gender. Inshallah. Thank you very much, sir, for everything you've done for us. May Allah continue to be with you. And every one of us, all the women, our mothers, and everybody, I say, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.
Papa Wati 